hey scrappy people it's Tracy Reed here today and I'm coming at you with a 12 by 12 hybrid uh, process video yeah that's what I'm doing <laughs> and I have printed out some of these really adorable embellishments by Studio Flurbs using her oh my goodness what was the name dun da 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 um adventures it's in, in her adventure collection there we go um nonsense kit and it is a dr seuss themed kit and instead of printing out her entire entire printable set i picked and chose what i wanted to print out including all of these little patterned triangles so i made these triangles in photoshop and printed out just the triangles themselves so that i wouldn't waste ink or paper and now I am going to go through and I'm going to adhere all these down because this is the basic layout I want for this um, layout. <laughs> and there we go. Now we've got them all glued down. And I'm going to pop up my photo on foam so that I can put stuff underneath it and so that I can create a little bit of depth. I've talked about before when you're using hybrid embellishments or your um, printing things out to you. Sometimes your layout can get a little bit flat if you are using just what is in the collection. So um, I like to pop up my embellishments, some of my embellishments and my photos on foam to create a little bit more depth. So now I kind of have this layout planned out in my head a bit and these letters are in the kit and they spell unique which um, this is a photo of Finn on Halloween and for Halloween at school they were not allowed to wear um, their regular costumes. They had to be book characters and so Finn chose to be Thing 2 and don't ask me why. I have no idea why he was Thing 2 and not Thing 1 or why he wanted to be a thing at all but he did and so I made this costume for him and he loved it and he has a, yes, he has a feather boa on his head because the things have that wild blue hair and so I have all of these Dr. Seuss themed embellishments and a lot of them are from the Cat in the Hat. And so um, there's that one scene in the Dr. Seuss book where um, I believe Dr. S or the Cat in the Hat is carrying a whole big stack of things or somebody's carrying a whole big stack of things. It's been a while since I read the book. And then everything comes tumbling down and that was the kind of the feel of the layout that I was going for like everything was kind of coming tumbling down out of the stack of things that somebody was carrying so I have like this sort of diagonal um composition with all of these embellishments flying out around the page so I wanted it to look busy which which one which I mean come on which of my layouts isn't busy but I wanted it to look busy I wanted it to have a lot of things to look at so um, that is what I'm trying to accomplish here. And then I have these flowers that um, I am going to incorporate here. And I have four flowers, but I think I'm going to actually incorporate three of them in the end. But I do set up four here to begin with while I'm sort of planning out this layout. So there's the, oh, the places you will go. There's thing one and thing two, and then there's a few word strips down on the bottom that say silly, funny, crazy, and you are you, which is perfect because he is definitely a character. He is, was a character when he's born, and he is still a character. So that is the basic composition. Well, not the basic. The more finalized composition for this layout. And I actually have two flowers in each of these clusters stacked on each other. And I'm going to separate them with foam. And what this does is this takes a die cut flower and it creates um, some depth, which is what I'm looking for. I always say that. And um, pops them up off the page. But instead of having just the single layer, I have a double layer, which gives them a little bit more fun and flair, I think. So I'm just using little bits of foam to separate the top and bottom flowers. And I'm building a little bit. Of depth there. So I want this banner to actually go under the photo and the title and the banner on top of the photo will go over the photo. And I'm going to adhere these letters. I'm going to adhere the first and the last so that I can 
work in between them and make sure everything is evenly spaced. I also want to make sure that what I want under the banner and under the queue um, goes under and what I want over goes over so I'm just kind of laying things out. Luckily this adhesive I have for my ATG is movable and I like that a lot better than the more permanent adhesive that came with the ATG so I'm gonna have to keep buying that movable adhesive because you know I changed my mind a hundred thousand times when I'm making a layout. So there we have the bottom grounded. Now I'm gonna start working on the side pieces and just working my way up making it sure everything kind of gets condensed and isn't too spread out. And you can see I don't like those flowers together and so I'm gonna um, move around some of these flowers in a little bit. I think I start moving them around when I get back over to the other side. Because those two flowers are too big and too close together, I think. And they're creating some weird heaviness on that side of the layout. So I end up at the end going back in and popping all the books up on foam too. And because they're spread out all over the layout, it really works well to create cute little um, pops of, you know, things coming at you off the page. They're really spread out well for it, and I really like the way it comes out. But right now, I'm just putting them straight down on the page. Here I am building another flower, and this is where I go, okay, I don't love this. And also, I had been putting foam between the layers and foam underneath and I decided that was too much depth <laughs> so I'm taking the foam out from underneath it gotta make sure you put that cat in the hat hat on there because duh this is from cat in the hat so I'm gonna stick it right up there by Finn's head make it really prominent and then the book and last but not least I need to build up this top corner and I want to make sure that I get this banner on top of the photo. And since the banner, or I mean, since the photo is up on foam, I need to put some of this banner up on foam as well. So that has some support. Only half of it's going to go above the photo, and the other half is going to kind of tuck under the photo. So I only put a little bit of foam on there. And I want to make sure that that end half tucks underneath that triangle so that it's the you know the cutoff part isn't just hanging out there in space. And my third flower and then this is where I start going okay I have too many flowers going on and this one is huge and it's just not working for me so I put it down and then I pull it back up and build the rest of this cluster and then I will decide on the flowers. So I want to make sure I put the arrow on there and the oh the places you will go. And then I'm going to work on that flower. So I'm going, hmm, I have too many flowers and these are the same. So I'm going to take this smaller flower away from where it was, separate those flowers, and this is a much more appealing composition for me. I'm not overwhelmed by flowers. <laughs> I decided to add in a couple more embellishments that I wasn't initially um, going to add in after I put up these books. So I have some embellishments over there in the top right hand corner that I had printed and when I was initially planning out this layout I had decided not to use but now I have some, after I've glued everything down, I have some extra space and it's looking in places a little bit lopsided like up there by that arrow that red arrow so I'm gonna go through these again and add some of them so I want to do this little flower pot tea teapot thing up here in this corner which I think makes that corner make a little bit more sense then I'm gonna put this green eggs and ham thing right here which fills up that space and I kind of like that. So what I decided to do, instead of adding in 
um, some more embellishments, I get out my black India ink and decide to add some black to this layout and fill in some of that white space on either side. So I'm going to get out my India ink and a brush and I'm going to make a big old mess on my fingers. <laughs> and I'm just going to start splattering India ink everywhere. I'm going to do little tiny dots and I'm going to do big dots. And in the end, I think adding the black really helped to finish off the layout. So here I go, making a mess. Oh, my finger's turning black. <laughs> Actually, I got it off my finger. It stayed on my fingernail after this, so that's fun. <laughs> One black fingernail. So I add it up here, and then I add it down in this bottom corner as well. Big dots, little dots, and I'm making sure to keep um, most of the embellishments and the photo covered up. Although I don't mind if it gets a little bit of the little dots on the embellishments. I'm going to add just a little bit more here. And I'm going to call it good. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. And there is a link to this collection in the show notes. Thank you!